Okay, March is like five weeks, which means if I'm on vacation, not in the last week, I do got more than three, I get four weeks to work in March. Oh, I can chill. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to the second episode of the Developer Logbook and thank you everyone for all the nice comments on the first episode, not only below the video but on all the social channels. I really got a lot of messages like, uh, Simon, you inspired me to learn Ionic, to do this, to uh, do that. I started a project, I got a job and really from people I never met and that just makes me so super happy and just fires me up to continue this series because once again, I want to inspire other developers and I want to share my story and I think that's a great format and therefore I will definitely continue this series. Uh, I actually had series in the past where I had just one episode like the Ionic News Flash initially. So I'm really happy and you see, we got a second episode, so let's continue. This video is structured a bit like my monthly review that I usually do. So I want to talk with you about all the things that I accomplished all the things that are currently challenging or that I learned in the last month and then take a step further into the planning or what could be improved next month and what I will do in the next month. February was really a very short month, not only because of the days, but then also uh, we had COVID in the beginning of the month. Nonetheless, I tried to push through all of the remaining weeks and I think I did kinda good. So let's take a look at what I accomplished. All right, February didn't really start as expected because at the end of January we got COVID and we were quarantined for about two weeks, uh, which means I completely lost the first week of February. Anyway, we're happy that we got through this. Uh, we're all healthy. During that time, I actually took some time to think about different future projects, but maybe more on that later. After taking that first week off, I had like three weeks left of February and I really pushed through those weeks and I used timeboxing for the first time. I know a lot of you are actually using a calendar. I pretty much never use a real calendar because I really, I got like one appointment every two weeks. But I tried timeboxing and I just scheduled all the blocks for, for tasks of my day. So uh, I used my calendar and I scheduled gym, eating, work on content, eat again, uh, work on more content, eat more. <laughs> Just pretty much like that. That really got me to focus on specific tasks. So if I knew I had like one hour to finish a certain uh, tutorial, I really took that one hour and write. Otherwise, I would just go on my phone, check my farm, read some news and do anything else. But Thai boxing really helped to stay focused completely on my tasks. But a bad thing about time boxing in the end as well. But in general, it really boosted my productivity. And although I already got enough projects and tasks going on right now, I also started a new project with a friend to develop a little game. We started this game, uh, which was actually our very first game to get into Objective-C in iOS development like 10 years ago. And we're now redoing it with Ionic just for the fun because I don't really expect anyone to, to pay anything in this game, but it's an interesting thing. It's a cool project together. You will see more about this game and how the game came together on this channel in the near future when I really got time to finish everything. For our assess, we made tiny progress because the API wasn't 100% finished and I also didn't want to work with uh, fake data, so I was waiting. But then we agreed that I would create just the JSON object format that I would expect and then the backend would actually return this in the future. So we kind of found an agreement, but this took us some time. We're a new team at this point. It's okay, we got a nice state, but there's still a lot of work to be done in the next two weeks until the launch of the MVP. But it's a good feeling that we are a team of three because two people are working on the application and we're completely focused on that. And then we got one other person who's handling all the administrative stuff and as well doing already the beta a reach out to people, creating a list, creating a landing page. So we don't have to focus on that marketing part as well. And I think there's actually demand for the application, so I will keep you posted about the progress and hopefully this will be a successful says. And I'm gonna share the story from the very beginning. In terms of content, I also finally released the quick start guide for Ionic, which is a free 46 pages PDF, which I'm using now as a lead magnet to capture new emails to get people into my email list. This is a very common practice and I used other things in the past as well, like the Ionic crash course or the Capacitor crash course. And this PDF really was off to a great start. I got a lot of signups during the first few days and I still see a lot more signups right now. So 
this is really something that hopefully works and also it's really a great free piece because other people might even charge for this. Uh, it took me really a lot of time to create this, but I'm happy that I can provide this kind of information for free so others can decide if they also want to get the academy training uh, for a, a paid upgrade basically. Talking about the academy, I also got started with changes for the academy and updated the dashboard to be a, a bit more well, structure, I'd say. This is already a preparation for the upcoming five year Ionic anniversary because next month the Ionic Academy turns five and my intention is to release cool things during that anniversary week. I will even have a giveaway before that week. So really, uh, I'm planning a lot of things. Uh, I hopefully can uh, implement all of them until then, but I, I, I feel good about that. If you're an Ionic Academy member, that means you can expect a few cool things over the next time. So that's pretty much all about the accomplishments from last month. It was really, it was really just progress on a lot of small things. There was no big launch, there was no boom, uh, yeah, I finally finished this, and some month, that's just how it goes. Um, but I try to look at every project and I see that I made progress on every project, on the Academy, on the SES, on a project with a friend, I lost weight, so really small steps on a lot of, pro uh, a lot of projects, but at this point I really can't take on any more projects right now. And that also brings us to the learnings and the challenges of February. <laughs> One of the biggest challenges of February was definitely having too many projects. So I got everything regarding the Academy and my content, I got the SES that we're growing, then I also started the little game with a friend and then I got also all the other administrative things, uh, talking with contractors, doing those small things and all of this was just very hard to handle. So although I'm pretty free in what I do and what I work on, I really felt a bit stressed in February. And then I tried time boxing, which also kind of put me into a, a stressed mode. I, on some days I was really fired up and uh, happy about all the progress that I made with this time boxing. On other days, it really felt like a constraint because I had to follow this and I don't have any freedom in my day. And uh, it was a little challenge between these things. So in the end, uh, I just had to take a little break, so in March I'm going to start a bit slower and focus really on what's important and don't try to put too much stress on myself. Also after I had the week off because of Covid, I had a lot of ideas for new projects and you might know this, whenever you got a new idea you really just want to dive into that new idea and well that's totally not possible right now and not in the next few weeks. And that means although I have great ideas and I had great exchange with Max Lynch and other people from my neighborhood here, I can't immediately get into those new projects and I have to wait at least a few more weeks until I can start something new. Maybe it's gonna be in April, um, but really that's like, okay, in four weeks I will start on it. it it's just not possible to, to put your uh, excitement for a certain topic uh, in a box and then say, okay, I'm gonna come back to that excitement in about five weeks. But that's just the reality and I just need to find a way to make that work. Also, I definitely haven't taken enough time off for myself, mostly because of all the projects that I got going on and that I wanna make progress on. So I hopefully will make time for that in March, read more in the evening, don't do late night coding, uh, all these things that we all know that are bad. And because all of that wasn't enough, I also thought about migrating my main blog from WordPress to something else. The funny thing is, I asked about this on Twitter and I got tons of responses that said use technology this, use that, you can build it with that, you can use static, you can use this, you can use that. And pretty much no one was recommending, well, get a contractor to do it for you. And that's just the reality as a business owner because I got like eight, nine, maybe 10 hours per day on things that I can work on. And I'm pretty good at creating content and doing uh, writing tutorials or doing these kind of things. But it's really not my job to migrate my main blog from WordPress to something else because that's a thing other people can definitely handle better than I can. And that's pretty much how I also try to live my life. If there are people that I can pay for something and they will certainly do it faster and better than I do, then I will definitely pay them because in the end, time is the most important resource that you, that I have. 
and I want to spend my time with my family and do cool things and I don't want to spend my time on things that others could do faster and better. Therefore I'm currently not trying to do this on my own although I tried in the past and instead will try to find a contractor and maybe use something like the ghost platform which looks pretty amazing uh, for content so maybe we're gonna see a change of that this year but it's also not really a critical project it's just like I want to get away from from WordPress on that blog in the near future but I've said this for like the last three years but that's a future project and I really want to stay focused on what's important now and in the end that's just where you have to come back focus on the project that are important now that are urgent now don't think about all the other possibilities that you got to work on because your time is limited you can only work on a certain amount of projects and so I will focus on the few important projects in March and after that well maybe there's time for something else all right plans for March next month I want to release the MVP of our SES uh, which means not only me but also the two other people I work with and I think we're on a well good way we already got a list of beta users who want to get into the MVP and I really hope that in the next developer uh, logbook episode I can share something successful about the beta launch and tell you that we actually got a few customers. Second big thing for March is the five year anniversary of the Ionic Academy which also means I'm five years self-employed. So I'm gonna prepare a lot of things for the anniversary weeks of the Ionic Academy. Uh, you can stay really... Uh, that will be interesting. And also of course uh, in the next video I might share something that I learned in the last five years of being a self-employed developer although this is like I'm not the typical self-employed developer, but anyway, we're gonna talk about that next time. Besides that, I got all the other ongoing content for this channel, for the Fdactic, for the Ionic Academy. I'm also working on a new guest post for the official Ionic blog. And as I said, I also want to transition my main blog to something else. I will reach out to other people uh, and explore the different options I got or see if I can do it myself, but I really don't think I will do it myself. And besides that, I'm actually taking off the last week of March for a family vacation and also for planning the next three months because that was my plan for this year. At the end of every quarter, I want to take one week off to create an updated version of my plan right here, the Best Self Journal. There will be exciting new goals for the next three months. So I'm going to be away in the last month, a uh, week, and therefore I need to wrap everything into, into three weeks. I kind of need to wrap everything from March into the first three weeks. That's going to be a challenge. Okay, March is like five weeks, which means if I'm on vacation, not in the last week, I do got more than three, I get four weeks to work in March. Oh, I can chill. Bye. But anyway, I really want to finish all the important tasks in the first three weeks. Also, the launch of the MVP is 15th of March. So I'm going to get into work right after this video. Anyway, that's it so far for the second episode of the Developer Logbook. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did so, please leave the like button and stay subscribed so you don't miss the future any episodes. And of course, if you got any questions about what I do, how I approach planning, how I approach the projects, basically everything uh, let me know below this video because this format is different than the usual tutorials that we have on this channel So I want to share more knowledge about building a successful SaaS, uh, being self-employed, uh, living a happy life basically And also I'm very happy to answer all your questions So I hope you will have an epic March. I hope you had a great February Stay tuned for more to come and so long Captain Ionic.